Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Southern California. Today we are doing a really nice little piece of meat. It is done either in the oven or out on the rotisserie. This is a chuck roast. This is Chuck's roast. And it's about three pounds. Now, the thing that I love about the chuck roast is it's got a lot of marbleization going on. And it's actually an inexpensive piece of meat. So if you cook it right, which is more like what you do with pork, low and slow, you're going to get yourself a nice tender piece of meat out of it. We'll cut this baby into steaks, but we're going to literally put it on the rotisserie, and that's how we're going to cook it. Now, just so you know, I am the author of the Barbecue Joe Chronicles. And if you didn't know that, you know it now. So, uh, I'm a guy that likes comedy, so I write my cookbooks with a little bit of comedy with them. And I also like to uh, grill on planks, so I actually distribute these in four states. And uh, you can pick these up at 99 cent uh, stores. What we've got here is tonight we're doing some baked potatoes with these. Twice baked baked potatoes, they're going in at 400 degrees. Now because we're just using the back burner, the rotisserie, uh, the infrared, we're going to keep it low and slow, so I'm going to keep these hot. Cook these for about an hour and 20 minutes at about 400 they'll come out just lovely. I put a little bit of olive oil on them, a little salt and pepper on the outside, uh, poke them a little and rock and roll. Now this piece of meat, I'm going to show you how I do this, you want to make sure your rod is you long need this thing and strong. stiff and hard so that when it twirls it doesn't fall in. So what we do is we take the piece of meat and we stick it right up its rump just like that. And then we put it in to those little fork prongs. And then we take the top portion, secure it, just like that. And she's ready to go on the grill. Now, one thing I will do is I'll add a little bit of olive oil. I already marinated this thing for two days in bourbon, salt, and pepper. So now, now we've got a little bit of olive oil on it, and uh, it's good. It kind of keeps things from sticking, too. I'm going to pair this tonight with a nice Spanish Tempranillo. This is a straight Tempranillo. Uh, it's a 2011, and uh, it's a medium body uh, the Tempranillo. I love Tempranillo. It's, it's a fantastic uh, pairing with uh, chuck roast, in my opinion. Uh, however, it's everything subjective, including the barbecue and the grilling. Uh, your, whatever you're making, uh, but the pairing to me goes nicely because this has got some some really nice tannins and uh, it's kind of got a smooth finish, and that's going to go really nice with uh, with a chuck roast the way we're cooking this. So that's what we've got. We will be grill side momentarily. So chop, sizzle, grill, eat, rock and roll. Well, we are grill side here, folks, and we've got this bad boy on. Uh, this chuck roast is going to go at it for a good two hours. It's about 4.15, about 6.15 we'll eat. Let it rest for about 10 minutes after that, and by 6.30 we'll be eating. Now we've got some apple chunks already starting to smoke, and now I'm going to add a little bit of oak. So oak and apple on this is what we're doing. This is some bark. Bark gives it even a more infusive. Boy, that smells good. Gotta just love that bark. So we're gonna do this at about 350 degrees inside because what we want to do is make sure that it's kind of medium rare. Okay, it's been on about 30 minutes, and you can see it's just starting to get nice and brown, and that's what we want. We want this bad boy medium rare when it's done. In the center, and just a little bit more like medium on the outside for the folks that like it medium. Mushrooms. So we're gonna make room for those guys right here. I got my lower burner on right here. It's got about 30 minutes left of mushrooms. Got about 15 minutes left. The mushrooms just left. have a little bit of uh, goat cheese in it. <laughs> and a little bit of uh, dusting of Parmesan cheese on top. That's what we got going. Boy, that smoky's going. We got oh yeah, really now we're talking. That is really, really about a taste here. Just to kind of give you a visual. Look at that. Ten more minutes and we got perfection. Chuck the roast. Very often, real responsible. Chop, sizzle, grill, eat. We'll talk to you next time.